How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? In the last 90 days, how many books have you read? In the last year, what new skill or knowledge have you acquired? What kind of investment have you made in you? So I'm saying that as you begin to look at where you want to go, if you want to make it today, and things are changing so fast, you have to literally run to stand still. I'm saying that you've got to make some conscious effort to begin to work to develop you. Fear, ladies and gentlemen, can hold you back from doing something that you know within yourself that you're capable of doing, but it will paralyze you. And it seemed like you're in a hypnotic spell. And I ask you a question, what is the benefit? What's the benefit of allowing fear to hold you back? What's the benefit of giving up on yourself? of not stepping out on life and taking life on. What is the benefit for you? What's the plus in that? It's one of the things I had to ask myself. So I didn't want to make any mistakes. I wanted everybody to like me. I wanted to be perfect the first time I did something. It's not going to happen. You're going to make some mistakes. You're going to hurt some folks' feelings. You're going to create some enemies. Whenever you decide that you want to begin to take life on, you've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? I like what Zig Ziglar says. He said, fear is false evidence appearing real. Get away from Huntington. I never want to see you again. <laughs> What's your message for Year 13? Uh, it's probably quite difficult to sum up um, my feelings towards Year 13, I suppose. Ultimately, to be the best they can possibly be. I'll never forget the time that um, I shared as their head of year, and obviously, uh, it's something that meant an awful lot to me, genuinely. Um, I still look at it with uh, a great deal of fondness. And I shan't forget kind of uh, some of the characters. So um, I won't mention any names because it'll be unfair on the people I don't mention. Um, but yeah, best of luck with everything. Um, and obviously, if you want to come back and visit, or if you ever need a reference, uh, apart from the ones that you know, you know who you are that won't get a good one. Uh, but yeah, come back and ask me and I'm more than happy to help you any way I can. All right.
Oh, look. that's a difficult question. I'll say brilliant. Uh, either a big photographer or a psychologist. Oh, that's a difficult get. I'd say Miss Finley for psychology. But then just overall favourite I get on with Mr. Ween and Mr. Fordham are just great. And uh, that's another difficult question. <laughs> We've got people like, like Darcy and Ed are just brilliant to be around and they're just energetic. Uh, just one of the things I've enjoyed about here is the opportunity to do photography at school events. It's just been fun. The Hinchinbrook House provides a great backdrop for getting photos, especially at the summer ball. One of my favourite ones was Andrew doing the This Is My Kingdom pose outside the <laughs> outside the sixth form and then getting to people, uh, Darcy and Andrew looking over the wall was also some great ones. Uh, taking pictures of the inter-house event have been fun. It was just being a house captain and being able to be involved with Year 7s and inspire them to hopefully take up the torch when they get to sixth form to carry on. Good luck, Year 13. Hope everyone does well in the future. message for year 13 is uh, first of all well done you've worked immensely hard over um, two years uh, and it's been absolutely brilliant uh, being deputy head of sixth for you guys uh, your year group is phenomenal uh, it's full of so many um, warm and caring people and we're going to miss you an immense amount at Hinchinbrook and uh, it's just really my hope that uh, you all go on to exactly what it is that you want to uh, do, uh, whether that be university or uh, whatever else, and that um, you find real happiness in your lives and you continue to think of your time here really fondly. Thank you.